Okay, with the kill also we got a problem uh, since today we have no sound. Um, what's going on is we have too high of a voltage on the plates of the first three tubes. That's uh, 250 volts here, 200 volts here. Uh, while we used to have like 104 volts here and 150 volts there which is causing the negative grid bias to go positive and that is why there is no sound at all the only thing I did was replace this capacitor by a 22 by a 22 uh, microfarad capacitor and something happened if we uh, don't have enough if we have too high a voltage here and too high of a voltage here something is going on down here so what I think is going on is this resistor has broken down in some way. Here the voltage measurement is up to scratch. What the schematic says should be about 310 volts, which is okay. But over here in the 165 volts measure point at this capacitor I replaced, we have 248 volts, which is causing too high of a voltage on the plate here and on the plate there. So let's go find out where this resistor is at and check it out. Okay, the 150k resistor is here, right here. All right, attached the alligator clip. Let's measure it. It's this one. Well, it's dancing all over the place. And it's not getting to an whoops. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, watch out. Okay, we found the culprit. It's this guy. It was a microphonic tube. I did replace the resistors here. And all the problems I was having was all due to this microphonic original Gilosa tube. So we got sound now. Okay, now.